been this temperature for about the last couple weeks, so progress is slow, but I'll show you what little I've done. All of this was $107, including shipping. It's a MarTech left-hand rotation, 12-inch diameter, 14-pitch, 3-quarter inch shaft. Here's the coupler. I really lucked out with this coupler. You'll see that the indentation in the coupler matches the extrusion from the transmission mount. And so the holes line up exactly as well. This must have come off of a Volvo. So same setup as last time about the Sprite battery. I'll use the screwdriver to start it. I just thought this was cool. It can generate 50 pounds of pressure just by hand. Got water still coming out the exhaust, a lot of smoke. And it's drawing water from this bucket, which I'm going to refill with this rainwater that I collected. And I've got three more buckets on the other side. So we'll just run the engine until I run out of rainwater, and that'll be my long run test. One of my ideas is that you can siphon water out of the ocean into the engine to cool it. So only 10 seconds ago, I raised this hose up to this height relative to the engine. And so we'll see if water keeps on coming out of the exhaust. I don't know why people drill holes through their hull below the water line to get water to the engine when a siphon works just fine. So I've been running the engine for over an hour, so I never got a reading off of the water temperature gauge. My theory is that the thermostat is not stuck open. It's just that the water was so cold going through these cylinders that it never registered at this point. And now I'm making this form. It fits fairly well, except on the sides, which I've done deliberately. I want it to be overlapping here because I'll start the welds down here and then I'll just cut to make it fit the rest of the way. The engine compartment, which will be totally separate from the rest of the boat, will be installed here. There'll be hatches that I can access the engine compartment from inside. I have wood blocks on both sides down there if you can't see it in the dark. It's pretty much the same thing. I put these in place before I dropped the panel in and that really helped align it exactly on top of the piece I needed to. So here I'm starting to make a double pass on the weld. Here's the single pass and here's the where the double has ended so far. I'm doing that so I can try to eliminate any pinholes that might exist in the previous weld that I can't see. And hopefully that'll be watertight the very first time I put it in the water. This is the wire I'm using and a long time ago somebody commented that they were a professional welder and this wire is a single pass wire. But if you look it up on the manufacturer's website you'll find that it's a double pass wire. So here's some of the strengthening I'm doing in this portion of the hull. There's a little bit more. This is the rear portion. And then that's, that will be the transom. The engine compartment will be beyond it. And here I am, it's been raining for over a day. Not a drop of water in here. 
my workspace is slowly flooding so I think it's time to wrap it up thanks for watching see you next month